Good morning adventure travelers from the Indus River in Chilas, Pakistan. Look at that. Look at those mountains. Whoa. What a view. What a landscape to start the day. Anywho, it's just gone 8 o'clock and we are on the way to Ali Abad in the Hunza Valley. The Hunza Valley is one of the highlights of the north of Pakistan. It's where the famous Cone Mountains are, I think. And the landslides have finally been cleared. And according to Google, we've got four and a half hours riding time. So I won't rub it on. I'll leave you there and hopefully there will be something exciting to bring you from the road. Wow, look at that river. Pretty special. Just another valley. Whoo, but look at the mountains surrounding it. I wonder if the Indus filled up this whole space at one point. She's rugged as it comes out here. Only the tough survive in this environment. All right, this is the landslide that took a couple of days to clear. It's pretty sandy on the road. There's a truck coming my way. Just better get on through it. I'm not a fan of sand. I haven't had that much experience riding in it. Luckily, it's quite compact from the trucks and cars. Far out. Look at that. She was a big one. Let's get out of the way of this truck, shall we? Should probably come down again in the next heavy rain. Wowza. Yep, it looks pretty fine. The soil looks pretty fine. It's going to move in a heavy rain. No wonder it took them a few days to clear. Slow down, right? And tarmac. Holy shit sticks. Look at that cliff. And look at all that dust. See, there's a lot of sand on the road over there. So, let's get into it. Maybe the sand is gone, and the dust is gone. Oh yeah, ha. Woo, that was pretty intense. 60 k's an hour, feels like I'm a Formula One driver or MotoGP rider. 
Well, we've got a bit of a roadblock going on here. Nothing major, I've been told. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? New Zealand? New Zealand? Yeah. How long you stay here? Uh, in uh, Pakistan? Pakistan? One month. One month? Yeah. Is this your first tour? Yes. How, how, how was the beauty of Gilgit? Ah, oh, unbelievable. 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 Okay. These mountains are incredible. Oh boy, not sure if it was a broken down bus or a landslide or all of the above. But she's slow going in Pakistan. What's the point? Excavators doing its thing. So the road looks pretty clear behind the excavator. And after that, hopefully, we get some continuous movement. Time to get back on the bike. <laughs> and here we are on the tarmac in the valley. There's the big ones over there. Oh look at the snow on the caps. A few other vehicles on the road. No you're not completely in the middle of nowhere on your own. It's getting cool a bit actually. wonder if we're getting higher. We're heading into the Hunza Valley and look at those big boys up ahead. Ooh, if that's not intimidating. Wow. I'm going down, 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 down. I'm going down, down, down. That was my best Bruce Springsteen cover. I'm down in the valley. The Hunza. I think I'm in the Hunza. I'm in some crazy valley. Whatever it's called. It's pretty much like another planet. All this rock. It's like being on the moon or on Mars. This is pretty crazy. What the hell? There's the mountain. I think there's a big tunnel coming up, if I remember rightly. And I think it's quite long as well. So this should be interesting, given that they don't put fans, uh, ventilation or lights in their tunnels in uh, Pakistan. Wow, look at that. Rugged country. Here we go, into the big tunnel. Huh very long at all. I thought it was eight kilometers long or something. Must be getting mixed up with another tunnel. Anyway, I'd rather look at this view than be inside a tunnel. Look at this rock! Look at these mountains! Oh, I've used up all my superlatives. Wowza! Look at those snow-capped peaks! Man, we're getting closer to the top of the world. So we're about half an hour away from the hostel and we're going through the Nagar Valley and just going over this, uh, this bridge and the most amazing view behind me. Check this out. 
You probably can't. You probably can't see. There you go. Where the mountain stops and the clouds begin, because it's all white up there, but it's pretty spectacular. Check that out. Unreal. Just had some tea and Pakistani pizza with a couple of nice guys who just came up to me on the side of the road for a chit chat and about 15 minutes away from the hostel although you'd never believe it you think you're miles away from anywhere on these roads look at that Look at this overhang. Woo, watch your head. I'm at a place called the Baltit Fort in the Karimabad, or Karimabad in Hunza Valley, one of the most popular places in the uh, in the northern mountains. And it's pretty spectacular. Here's the valley over my left shoulder there. And look at the mountains. The mountains and, <clears throat> and the valleys. Here's the valley down there. Here's the fort up on the hill. I was saying it's 900 years old. It's about the same age as Angkor Wat. And uh, pretty amazing. Although I had to leave the bike about 10 minutes below and go up a steep, steep hill. Oh, need to work on my cardio. <laughs> so second stop for the day is the Altit Fort after the Beltit Fort, just to make things uh, nice and easy and not very confusing. But this one's quite different so far. The entrance is, it's almost like an orchard. Beautiful, green, and uh, I'm sure we're coming up to some more substantial fort-like buildings. It's a beautiful day to be out anyway. Right, so that walk, that walk from the nice green pathway was a little bit easier than the Baltic, the Baltic, the uh, the Baltic Fort. It's just a few uh, meters up from the path. So the Hunza Valley, or the Hunza area, used to be its own uh, kingdom or fiefdom, and now it's part of you know, a bigger country. But the fort up and behind me. It's sort of on the opposite side of the, it's on the same side of the, <clears throat> the mountain, but it's sort of on the opposite side of the way. And here it is. I dare say it's eight or 900 years old, about the same age as the Baltit Fort. And it's more, it's more on top of the, the hill rather than on the side of it. I'm on the balcony of the Altit Fort and just one of 100 stunning views. And that, ladies and gents, was the Altit Fort. Pretty amazing. So, Baltit means high and Altit means low. So, high fort, low fort. There you go. Okay, so it's shout out time again. I've got two special people to shout out to today. The first is a good friend of mine, Lil. 
caught up with a Lil in uh, Perth. It had been 10 years since I uh, had seen her, so it was lovely to catch up with her. She's become a doctor in the meantime, one of the smartest people I know. Thank you, Lil, for your donation to the IHC, and hope to see you again uh, before another 10 years. Second person is Ian. Ian, thank you so much for supporting the IHC. Ian was very generous with his donation. Uh, it means a lot, and thanks, Ian. I'm glad you're really enjoying the video series. For everyone else, if you're enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, please share it with family and friends. And send me your thoughts in the comments below. It's always good to have a chit chat with you guys out there. So there's a little cafe next to the fort that I've been recommended called Cafe Culture. And I'm the only one here. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. Sort of not really lunch, not really dinner. But um, check this out. How's that for a cool cafe? You've got the grapes up there, keeping out the sun. And then you've got these stone tables and chairs. And I'm having a local pasta washed down with good old Coca-Cola. So I chose a local Pakistani dish. Well, I'm not sure how local it is, because it's a pasta. But it's Pakistani flavours, and here it is. Looks pretty good. Hope it tastes pretty good. It's not bad. Pasta's quite doughy. Um, I think it's a vegetarian dish, but not a lot of salt used in Pakistani cooking, from what I can tell. <coughs> and being half Croatian, do like my salt, but. Um, Certainly not complaining. So, <clears throat> I'm at the Ganesh, 1,000 year old historical village, but it's not very well signposted and there was no one there collecting the entrance fee. So, I'm not really sure what's going on. Okay, looks like uh, someone might still be living here. I'm not really. Here's a scooter or a motorbike with a cover on it. It's all a bit random and haphazard. Anyway, some local woman pointed me in this direction and uh, What's up? It's obviously some goats or sheep in there. Huh. It's a, a calf and a young cow. Very odd, very odd, but ah, I'm in a little bit of a square. And there's some interesting looking wooden structures. They could very easily be a thousand years old. They've got some intricate carvings on the side there. Small area. There's a more modern building there. Wonder if I can go out this way. Jesus, where the hell am I going? I've got no idea where I am, where I'm going, from walking through someone's house. Crikey, oops, this looks a bit more modern. Going back to where I came. Just see the baby crying up there, so obviously people still live here. Now let's see if I can remember how to get out of here. There's the, there's the exit up there. Hello. So the guide was on the dunny as I was going in and, and he nabbed me for the 500 rupees, which is about three bucks on the way out. 
Um, was it worth it? It's three bucks, doesn't really matter, but some thousand, thousand year old village that people still live in, guess it was worth a look. Five, ten minutes of your time, well done. If you'd like to know more about the ride from New Zealand to Ireland, you can go to my website, which is twowheelstoeverywhere.com. If you'd like to know more about the IHC, who looks after the intellectually disabled community in New Zealand, you can go to ihc.org.nz. And if you're enjoying the video series and you'd like to support the IHC, you can go to my Give a Little page. All the links are in the description below. And all the money goes directly from Give a Little to the IHC. Alrighty, well, that's all for now, folks. As usual, thanks for tuning in. Travel safe, and I'll see you on the road.